r slash r's credit. What's something everyone knows but no one wants to admit? How much they wank. A wank a day keeps the girls away. Damn. So this is why. The top comment is just the first semi good comment posted soon after the thread was made. They should develop an algorithm that corrects for that. Maybe they already try with the thing with making votes invisible for a little bit. But it doesn't seem to help. Come early and leave a standard pun, and you can rack up 500 calm easy. PFFT 500. I pulled the three casing of the other day. Bam. Nobody really gives a hit about the Paralympics. Even though it's arguably more impressive than the regular Olympics. Impressive? Maybe. Interesting? Nope. Although I can say the same about the regular Olympics. I honestly couldn't care less. Edit, leave it to Reddit to make my highest comment be about something I don't care about. Yay. Just about nearly every hand you shake in life has touched a peen at some point or another. Now I feel weird about shaking my 6 year old sister's hand. Just think about when your parents kiss you, where have those lips been? We should probably all be doing something other than looking at this thread. My phone is sitting on top of my open history book as I read this. If by your cultural area standards you're on the ugly end of the spectrum, you life's gonna be tough. I have an underbite which killed my self-confidence when I was young and makes my teeth all ducked up. Apparently I have a decent face. I don't really know. Guys don't get many compliments on looks in general. But just thinking that you are ugly can make life tough. I honestly have no idea if I'm attractive or not, and it makes figuring out if girls like me kinda tough. People want to see others doing well, but not better than them. Edit, I get that not everyone agrees with this. And that's good. I get mad when I lose. But I feel bad when I win. We will all die. And in 100 years or so most of the petty bullshit we worry about today will not matter at all. Every time I see this, it gives me hope. Ironically. If my life doesn't matter, and the choices I make really won't impact anything, then I can totally ask out that cute girl I've been crushing on for a month. It's not like her response is going to end the world. But what if the situation becomes awkward? More awkward than you could have ever conceived. So ducking bad, that your instinct is to go inside your head, and try to convince yourself, that it wasn't so bad. But you immediately fail, and realize that you will never forget this terrible moment. It breaks you to the core. Causing your insecurities to forever dominate the forefront of your consciousness. The vast majority of fat people are fat, because they overate. Not because of their genes. Everyone who is overweight is, because they overate. Some people's genes contributed to it being easier for them to do it. Overweight newborns are an exception. I didn't duck ops mom. And neither did you. But I obviously did. I mean we all have had it w slash ops mom. It's the law of reddit. Sparks live. That aunt who never married and lives alone is totally a closeted lesbian. Or uncle in my case. Is your uncle a closeted lesbian? That everyone poos. If a girl is being a runt or a dude is being an asshole. I always laugh in my head and mentally picture them taking a hit. Not so cool anymore how. Ha 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 ridiculous. I'm not good at picturing things in my head. After the argument should I follow them around. Wait until they take a hit. Then break in and watch so I can imagine it for next time. Yes. They should have given the ball to Marshawn. Too soon. It will always be too soon. That raising kids isn't always fun. My advice to new parents is to accept the fact that in the first few days or weeks, you will have a time when you viscerally hate that monster you have created. And it's okay. Gently put down the howling hell beast. Let it scream for a bit. And go to another room and take a deep breath. You'll like it again soon enough. Post demonic possession. Don't beat yourself up over it. Any parent who says they never hated that bag of screams for at least a fleeting second is full of it. Sleep deprivation is a rich. This. My daughter was colicky and there were times I seriously wanted to just throw her out the window. There's absolutely nothing wrong with putting your child down in a safe space and stepping away for a few minutes. Saved my sanity. Your parents totally had ex. Your dad came inside your mom. 
she also probably at some point swallowed a few of your would be brothers and sisters too, and part of those would be brothers and sisters is also what you're made of. That's pretty ducking metal. Attractive people will always be more successful. Edit, I'm not saying attractive people will be successful. I'm saying that, if a hot guy and an ugly man have the same skills for a job, it's more likely for the attractive guy to get the job. Unless you're in politics. Washington is Hollywood for ugly people. <laughs> that the planet is ducked and no one seems to care. Edit, I should elaborate, since most people think I mean Earth as a whole is ducked. I know the physical planet Earth will be around for billions of years. I'm referring to humanity effectively stamping ourselves and other species out by depleting all of the resources we rely upon. Humanity as a whole is greedy and cannot impose limits or responsible usage of resources. I get that, if we kill off ourselves as a species other organisms can rise up and take over. I'm referring to Earth as we know it, we are ducking it up and no one particularly cares. Kinda makes sense no one's planning to live that long to see the changes. Regardless of how immediate they may be. That's a problem for the next generation. Who may slash may not reach immortality and truly see the consequences of their uh, actions. Till then though. Maliciously places non-recyclable into a recyclable bin. Stabs environment killing full. Current estimates show it could be a huge effect on our lives by 2050. By destroying all the coffee. Wiping out coastal cities. Causing superstorms. Getting rid of most of the coffee plantations. And other issues. Also. It could get rid of all of our coffee. <laughs> that they fart in public. Can confirm. Literally just farted in my cubicle. I will shortly start making the gross. Does anyone else smell that? Face to my coworkers. They know. <laughs> People who join the military aren't actually defending our freedom. They are just part of a big industrial complex. Yet we still have to pay lip service to them and thank them for their service because it's a hit job and we don't want to do it. A. It's a little bit more complicated than that. It is. For sure. But I think that captures the essence of it. People aren't born equal. Equal is not identical. The egalitarian idea that was formulated in the 18th century upon which most western countries are founded on is that all people deserve the same rights at birth. There is no royalty or serfdom. Peasantry or nobility and the law applies to all equally. That was a novel idea back then, even though should be criticized, as while it was written people were still born to slavery. Deserve the same rights. Sure. But people don't get the same rights at birth. A girl born to a middle class family in Montana is almost certainly better off than a girl born to a family in Somalia. Where the female genital mutilation rate was 98% in 2013. If you could have chosen between being born in a first world western nation versus say. North Korea. Could you honestly say doesn't matter. Everyone is born equal. Either is fine. People should be born equal. But they aren't. <laughs> Their kid isn't the best slash funniest slash cutest slash etc kid to ever exist. And the parents who act like their kid truly is tend to have the worst children. The whole point of a cover is, so that you can judge it by that. I think this, zero sources and I'm not going to google it, the expression predates the dust jackets slash covers we have on modern books. What is now considered by many to be the cover is, at least on hardcover books, literally a way of advertising the book in hopes of standing out on the bookstore shelf. Indeed over on slash r slash books this subject can cause pretty heated debates about whether or not you should throw it away once you buy the book. All that is to say, the hard cover underneath the jacket is the actual cover. And whatever pattern or color it was bound in really doesn't tell you much about the content. The saying makes perfect sense if you're talking about old books. But really doesn't work in the modern world. Now that book covers are designed expressly to help you decide to buy it. Girls wank. They fart and poop as well, and it doesn't smell like flowers. Stop. My peen can only get so erect. We all look in the toilet after we poop. That's why we Germans have shelves in our toilets. We aren't even ashamed of showing the whole world that we look in the toilet after we poop. They are terrible though. They make the smell of hitting 100% worse. Also, you'll never have the magic experience of a ghost poop. One good hard shove. 
A few seconds later you look down and there isn't anything in the toilet. You go to wipe. But the paper comes back clean. Did you even hit? Who knows. We're all assholes. Doesn't matter who you are at some point you have been, or will be an asshole. Most people I've met also have arms, legs, etc. Not just an asshole. You're wasting a ridiculous time on social media. What constitutes as not being a waste of time? You just saved me from actually getting off my ass. Thanks. Time to keep procrastinating. The complete lyrics to the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song. Are ya ready? Kids. I I. Captain. Period poops. Everyone poops a bunch on their period and the integrity of those poops is generally compromised. I was just thinking about this today. It's such a mess. I was at work when I suddenly became extremely bloated and felt like my entire midsection was about to explode. It didn't it was both horrific and relieving at the same time. Our bodies. A. The original semi good top comment of a thread is always surpassed by semi better comment once the thread has matured. Hey. You tried. Some people are simply better than others. Clearly. A friend of a friend is a bodybuilding doctor. When I heard this my only response was, is he an asshole? I need him to be a complete asshole. Nope. One of the nicest people he's ever met. Son of a rich. Don't worry. Maybe he has erectile dysfunction. That business associates hand you just shook. They've wanked with it. Phew. Good thing I'm unemployed. There is no valid reason to remove the headphone jack. But no one wants to admit. UMM. I think everyone has very loudly admitted this. You only care about your monkey sphere. There is a gradient to how much you care about somebody, and of course those closest to you, you will care the most about, but the more disconnected a stranger is from you, the less you will care. People typically want to not come across as a total asshole, so they'd rather say things like oh how awful when somebody tells them some stranger somewhere has had something terrible happen to them. Unless it influences your monkey sphere you don't actually care. People only care about two things in the world themselves and the things they like. Both sides often have valid and sound points. Edit. Ugh. I said often. People. For crying out loud. These jokes are getting old very quickly. Both sides often have unsound and stupid points too. The fact that the computers we use. The phones we talk on. The clothes we wear. And some of the food we eat are all product of cruel slave-like labor often carried out by children who earn extreme poverty wages in harsh working conditions. This hit depresses me so much I've gone full circle into not caring just so I can get through my day. No matter what I do I'm hurting someone just by existing. And I don't want to stop existing. So I don't know what to do except not care. Pretty sure even hardcore Trump fans know the guy is a couple years short of a six pack. Some people just want to watch the world burn I guess. Actually, most hardcore Trump fans are similarly a couple years short of a six pack. They either honestly think he'll do good, or just don't care, and are supporting Trump because d less spooky scary SJWs. People need to stop being so politically correct. But if you call me a bigot you're way out of line, and should feel bad. Not everyone is cut out to be a leader. With all the leadership that high schools and colleges push right now I think it's important to acknowledge that those people who are content to be a follower are still valuable and can still do great things. Edit. I feel like I should clarify that to me people who are cut out to be leaders are those who want to lead. I do believe that anyone can become a good leader if they have the motivation and learn the skills needed to become one. So maybe not everyone wants to be a leader would have been a better phrasing. 99% of all the good work done is not by leaders. There is nothing wrong with loving what you do. And not wanting to lead other people at the same time. Global climate change is happening. And the poorest countries are going to be the ones affected by it first. Drought and famine will kill directly through starvation or through the wars that will be fought. They're already suffering the effects of global warming. Island nations are disappearing. Coastal cities are hit with more violent storms. And droughts are becoming increasingly common. We have no idea how or why we exist. We have no idea if why do we exist. 
is even a meaningful question. It presupposes that there is a reason. Which there probably isn't. The fact that smoking, alcohol and drugs are literally killing you. But I love all of those things. Plus they are killing future me. Present me doesn't have a care in the world. To be honest I'm rather relieved that smoking and drinking is depleting my life. I'd rather kill myself than live a 100 more years in hostile and different blurry changing world that doesn't give a hit about me. I'm lying when I say I didn't get your email. Ducking like and subscribe.